How's it going guys? Welcome back to The Experimented. It's your boy Landrop here, back with a tutorial for your faces. Now this tutorial is for an apricot farm that I built on the Pixelmon SMP series and it works with using Curate and a few things from there. So we are going to go straight into it. As you can see, this is the apricot tree that you need to farm. Now the good thing about these apricots is the whole tree looks exactly like this. Every time you spawn one, it looks exactly the same. This means making a farm is very easy and very adjustable so basically what you do is you get your apricots you plant them you shear off the top layer and as you can see now you have a flat area so what you could do and you can make it as big as you want you can literally get another row like this right so when you've got the size you need to get the deployers now what i do is i tend to just put a layer of temporary blocks along and then above it you just shift and place them down like that and then what you do after that is you remove and that is the things that are going to pop up the apricots so deploys are done then we need to get some glue which i completely forgot to get and then we get the glue, we get this, and then we get the spruce. So what you do is you glue on top, just like that, and go along. You just glue a trapdoor there. And again, this trapdoor could be anywhere on it. It doesn't have to be exactly where I put it. And then you just got to go along and place your trapdoors like so. So it's probably best to keep your temporary blocks there while doing this. All right, so with that, that will all be stuck. That is one unit. So now we get to the fun part. So then we need a sticky mechanical piston and the piston poles. And you will need a gear shift, a power toggle, and a redstone link. So what you do is from the back, it could be anywhere along here. You shift onto it. And then how big the farm is. So this farm would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to need eight poles. Actually, I would say make it one bigger than that or two bigger. So now that should push these off. So what you need to do is we'll worry about powering that in a second we get a block that you don't care about and you put a border around the top now, now this stops any apricots that do get produced from the farm stop them pinging off and going outside so you cannot collect and then from here you just go out and this area here will be your collection which you can do whatever type of collection you want you can use to create belts you can use water streams you can just use hoppers whatever you like now from back here, you need a gear shift. And then from this gear shift, you're gonna need a toggle lever and a link. Now the reason why you have this is so you can have it going backwards and forwards. So if this was powered, it would just go forwards, but won't return. So you need this to be able to push it backwards and forwards. Now, as you saw there, that's what it does. So basically, it hits the berries, the berries pop up, and then this pushes it down into your collection zone. So what I have got is you get a observer, a hopper, a dropper, and of course, a redstone link and a comparator. So you put the observer there, a dropper, hopper, and then underneath, underneath, you would have a comparator and then the redstone link. And then what you do is you mimic that the same, the other side. Then finally, all you need to do is you need to put your wooden shovel or any block that's not a stackable block in there. So then when we turn this on, it will do that to reset it and then it'll push it backwards and forwards. 
so there we go that is the farm so like i said you can make this as big as you want as little as you want you can use any type of ap apricorns all you have to do is say if you want to make it bigger you can make it bigger that way you can make it bigger this way it's entirely up to you and again the collection system you could either have hoppers collecting them you can have a water column and push them into a water collection or you can have them auto smelt if you did find it useful and you do want to see more hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments <laughs>